Meanwhile, a bill proposing a brass knuckles ban in Arizona is still making its way through the legislature. The movement was started by an East Valley teen who was assaulted by a suspect using brass knuckles. Right now in Arizona, they're legal to use. So 12 News journalist Bianca Bono went out to some of the stores tonight that sell them to find out just how accessible they are. We want to make it clear the stores selling brass knuckles are doing nothing wrong because they are legal in Arizona. We went to two stores in the East Valley and found that in some cases, brass knuckles are not being branded as weapons. As East Valley Police Departments continue to investigate cases involving teen violence, it's become clear that in many cases, suspects have used brass knuckles to assault victims. Use brass knuckles. One accomplice having a brass knuckles. I ended up having to get staples in my head. The weapon is legal in Arizona, so it's not uncommon to see brass knuckles for sale in a wide variety of stores. In one Chandler store, Brass knuckles coming in several sizes and colors are kept in a case. This pair purchased for $17. At the second store we went to, these brass knuckles were kept behind the counter. We bought this pair for about $13, and when we left, we noticed these ones were packaged a little bit differently. They're actually branded as a heavy-duty belt buckle. They even come with this screw here to turn it into an accessory. It's brass knuckles, just like you know, putting a chain around a gun doesn't mean it's not a gun. Republican State Senator John Kavanaugh is the sponsor of a bill that would ban brass knuckles in Arizona. To be clear, if your bill were to pass, would brass knuckles branded as belt buckles also be banned? Yes, so long as you can use them as brass knuckles by inserting your fingers through them and covering your knuckles, they would be brass knuckles. Gilbert Police Chief Michael Solberg, whose department has investigated multiple cases involving teens or young adults using the weapon, has signed on in support of the bill. Curious to get your response to that branding. It's a free market. Um, you know, weapons like that, brass knuckles, whether they're part of a belt buckle or just sold as brass knuckles, that's the market bears that out on what they want to sell. My stance to that, as we've talked about before, of banning those, we are in support of that bill. Some lawmakers have expressed concerns over the bill, suggesting background checks instead of a ban, or only banning brass knuckles for minors, though some suspects who have used them in attacks in the East Valley were 18 or older. The bill passed unanimously out of the Senate Judiciary Committee, but Kavanaugh said he needs a majority to get the bill to the next step, and he's not sure if he has that yet, adding he'll likely know within the next Next week in Gilbert, Bianca Bono, 12 News. All right, Bianca, thank you.